Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Let us see the model question paper for the subject Computer Networks with the code BCS502. Here is the Computer Networks syllabus copy BCS502 and at the right you can see the model question paper 1 for the subject Computer Networks. So let us see the module wise questions by looking at the syllabus also. In the first module, data communication, networks, network types, network models and then protocols layering, TCP IP protocol suit, OSI model and then introduction to physical layer, guided media, unguided media. This is first module. In the question paper you can see the first question is operation of connectionless packet switched network with a neat diagram for 7 marks. Then they ask TCP IP question, what is meant by logical connection in TCP IP? Explain TCP IP reference model with diagram. So TCP IP is very very important uh, topic here. You can expect a question for sure in exam. And four basic topologies used in the network and list the advantages and disadvantages of each of them. Coming to second question, what are guided transmission media? And explain twisted pair cable in detail. Then again TCP IP reference model is asked over here. And uh, 2C is OSI and TCP IP model comparison. What are the reasons for OSI model to fail? This is from module 1. In module 2, if you see, data link layer is the second module. Uh, here, in the second module, solve using cyclic redundancy check, CRC. Here, they have given the data word and divisor also. This is a problem we need to solve using CRC. And write the S frame format for HDLC and explain individual field of it. Each and every bit of the S frame we need to explain over here. And what is the difference between Aloha and slotted Aloha is the question asked in module 2. Here again Aloha is the very important question you can expect, expect easily. And if you see the choice question, what is bit oriented framing and its frame pattern? Explain the example byte stuffing and unstuffing with bit oriented framing. This is also very important. And the flow diagram of CSMA CD is asked here. CSMA, CSMA, CA, CD is very important topic repeatedly asked in uh, networks. And what is PPP? What are the services provided by PPP? This is from module 2. And you can see here uh, in the module 2 block coding, cyclic codes, and framing, flow control, error control. These are the concepts repeatedly asked in exam. If you see previous exam papers and connectionless, connection oriented, difference between those and the protocols related to data link layer and uh, checksum and calculations uh, like this. So this is module 2. Coming to module 3, module 3 is network layer. Module 1 is introduction to physical layer, module 2 is data link layer, module 3 is network layer. Here network layer services, again packet switching, IPv4, IPv6 is very important here. You can see how the IP uh, code will be and routing algorithms unicast routing protocols dvr lsr pvr and uh, unicast routing protocols rip and ospf bgp multicast routing protocol this is module 3 if you see the questions explain classful addressing system with the diagram show how to perform least cost tree using ditch caster algorithm with example uh, ditch caster algorithm question also very very important and here is a problem for an isp generated the block uh, this the isp needs to allocate address for eight organizations with 256 addresses so we need to find the number and the range of addresses for the isp block and find the range of addresses for each organization and the range of unallocated addresses also show the outline of the address distribution and the forwarding table this is this kind of question we can expect in module 3 here and write a program for bellman ford algorithm this is also a expected uh, question in exam open shortest path first protocol with an example and dhcp and its importance so in this model op open short shortest path bellman ford algorithm digicast algorithm are very important topics then coming to module 4 module 4 is introduction to transport layer here transport layer protocols uh, user datagram protocol transmission control protocol services features TCP connections, flow control, error control and congestion control again. Okay. So in the transport layer, module 4, explain transport layer services, process to process communication in detail. Uh, this is also a very important question. 
List the services and applications of TCP. TCP protocol is also very important. Explain stop and wait protocol. So if you see the model papers or any other question papers of networking related subject, computer networks uh, subject, these are repeatedly asked questions. So you can uh, say these are very, very important. Stop and wait, uh, transport layer services, TCP IP, Aloha and OSI model are uh, TCP IP very, very important uh, with respect to examination. So explain connection establishment of TCP. Using three-way handshaking is asked. TCP congestion control is asked here in 8B. And explain FSM for Renault TCP. These are the questions from module 4. Coming to module 5. Module 5 is application layer. So in the application layer, uh, the protocols again will be there. Module 5 explains services provided by the transport layer with different protocols. And then differentiate client-server paradigm and peer-to-peer -peer paradigm. Differentiate means we need to say the differences between client-server, how actually it is, and peer-to-peer, -peer, how actually it is. And also differentiate between a persistent and non-persistent connection in HTTP is asked. And in the choice question of module 5, explain about web documents and HTTP. Here web documents and HTTP is asked. Explain in detail iterative communication using TCP. And explain briefly domain name system that is DNS. This is also a very important question and expected question. So in module 5, the other questions also uh, can be explained www and HTTP, uh, HTTP. Electronic mail also many times asked. What is DNS? DNS is asked over here. And also Telnet, SSH. So any topic over here can be asked in the exam. These are very important. And you can refer the previous model papers or question papers also for this subject. Coming to module 4, here transport layer services, TCP, three-way communication, uh, handshaking, FSM is asked. And other than that, you can concentrate on the services uh, are very important. Error control, congestion control, uh, flow control are very important. At least one question we can expect from this topic also. And coming to module 3, IPv4 addressing and IPv6 addressing is very, very important. And also the other algorithms given over here. Any two algorithms from these will be asked for sure. And coming to module 2 again, data link layer services are very important. Here also how the flow control, error control, connection, connection less uh, oriented topic is very important here. And then in module 1, as I said, OSI module and TCP IP protocol suite is very, very important. You can expect uh, both in the examination. And guided media unguided media these are the questions so this this subject is comparatively easy you can also score by uh, reading the very important questions itself why because all these questions are important and asked in many times in the exams so you can easily expect some questions let us try to solve this model paper and in the next video i will try to upload the answers for all these uh, so that it will be helpful for your exams thank you